Good evening everybody, welcome back to the channel, oh my god my hair is an absolute disgrace, I'm so sorry, this is the last week though, I've got Monday off to get my hair cut. Right, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to your Friday night quiz. Um, there's going to be a couple of changes tonight, some of you might have seen on the um, Facebook that there is a prize up for tonight, so round two is going to be your interactive round. Um, so get ready for round two being that slide all round. So make sure you've got your phones or your tablets or laptops or whatever you're going to be playing on at your side for round two. Um, and you don't have to play on there, by the way. You can just play um, on your pen and piece of paper. You don't have to take part. But the only way to win the prize is to be on the interactive um, website. So, um, we've got a shout out from my mum, as always, who puts a post on the shout out post that's on the Facebook. So, hi, mum, I hope you're all right. Um, you can always chat to me on the chat, on the uh, YouTube chat, and I'll reply to as many of you. Um, there's only like a five second delay tonight, which is really good. I think we've got a really good stream on tonight, so that's really good. Um, right, so. Let's just get cracking on with your quiz tonight then. So you've got your six rounds, you have your general knowledge first, then your slider interactive, then your connections, then you've got two uh, different categories, I can't remember what they are to be perfectly honest with you, and then you've got your picture round to finish off with. And at the end as well, um, I've just got a little Q&A type thing, there's only three questions, um, however it's just a little bit of feedback for myself. Um, I'll talk about all that at the end, um, but yeah. So let's just get cracking then. If everyone's got their pens and papers at the ready. Uh, oh, Hannah's just messaged me saying that the her phone's spot on, no delay, the TV's about a minute behind, right? So there's, there's delays on some parts and delays on not on others, but I'll go through everything with the slider interactive round when it comes around, so. Uh, right, so. Let's get cracking on your quiz tonight then. So here is your round one tonight. It's general knowledge, as always, like I just said. Uh, yeah, hi, ma'am, and thank you, Hannah, for the board. <laughs> right, oh, and um, shout out to me, ma'am, as well, for the new webcam. It might look a little bit more sharper on uh, screen now because the webcam's really, really good. You should see the difference between this one and the built-in one. This one looks so red, put it that way. So yeah, thanks man for the birthday present. Right, okay, here's your round one, question one for general knowledge tonight. Good luck everybody, here we go. Question one. Max Verstappen is a known sportsman in which sport? Oh my God, that's just sticking out, isn't it? Jesus Christ, last last quiz for this bloody haircut. Can't wait to get freaking rid of it. Max Verstappen is a known sportsman in which sport? Question two, what type of stone was the Rockefeller and was the most expensive stone of its kind purchased for just over five and a half million dollars? So what type of stone was the Rockefeller and was the most expensive stone of its kind purchased for just over five and a half million dollars? I know it's a billion then. <clears throat> As always, you can see above me, Facebook, Instagram, go on above me. Um, you can find us on both, um, and we're always chatting on there, so you can chat with us on there. Make sure you follow and like the Instagram page and the Facebook page. Question three. Which artist has had the most number one hits according to the official UK official chart? Yeah. Which artist has had the most number one hits ever? According to the official UK official charts, obviously on the official charts, that they've had number ones. Yeah, I'll just be quiet. You know what I mean. Oh, and as always, if you're new here, hit subscribe, hit the little bell, you get notified for whenever you upload or go live. Uh, 
And I also know that I talk with my hands and I've been told that I've talked with my hands a lot and I should stop. I'm not going to because I can't, it's habit. So you have to get used to me talking with my hands. Question four, in Only Fools and Horses, what is Trigger's real name in the show? You get half a point for the first name and half a point for the last name. So in Only Fools and Horses, what is Trigger's real name in the show? First and last name for half a point each. Go to your question five. Mark William Calloway is a professional wrestler, but what stage name does he go by? So Mark William Calloway is a professional wrestler, but what stage name does he go by? So what's his wrestling name, basically? So as if, for example, Dwayne Johnson is The Rock. So what, yeah, you get what I mean. It's not The Rock. <laughs> Bet you were going to put the rock as well, weren't you, Hannah? Uh, question six. When was the NHS founded? Within two years. So you have two years either way, but what, what, when was the NHS founded? What year, obviously? Just the year. Oh, I've just realised something as well. Top right corner. <laughs> they weren't shown. <clears throat> Question seven. Everybody lies is the catchphrase of which American TV character in the show of the same name? So, everybody lies is the catchphrase of which American TV character in the show of the same name? So, basically, the TV show and this character is the same name. <coughs> so, you drank all that drink already. Give a couple more seconds on that question. Go we'll go to the question eight. <clears throat> Who is the oldest? A Fern Cotton, B Danny Dyer, or C Greg Rutherford? So who is the oldest? A Fern Cotton. B. Danny Dyer or C. Greg Rutherford. <laughs> A, B or C. Question nine. Tim Berners-Lee was the inventor of what? So Tim Berners-Lee was the inventor of what? Uh, 
And last but not least, your final question for general knowledge round one is question 10. Who is the main star of the Transporter movie trilogy? So who is the main star of the Transporter movie trilogy? The actor's name. And that'll complete your round one general knowledge. So, as always, once we've marked them, let me know down in the chat or the comments if you're watching this on pre-record what you get out of 10. Um, I'm always intrigued to know. Um, so let's go straight into your answers. Swap your papers if you need to swap them with anyone, if you're going up against anyone or anything like that. Excuse me. And we'll get straight into the answers. So, question one. Max Verstappen is a known sportsman in which sport... Um, Hannah saying felt like a tough round that one Ooh. Uh, that is Formula 1 um, you can have uh, car racing if you put car racing you know any variation of it you can have um, you can have it but Formula 1 F1 he's an F1 driver question 2 what type of stone was the Rockefeller and was the most expensive stone of its kind purchased for just over five and a half million dollars it was an emerald Question three, which artist has had the most number one hits according to the official UK official charts? Uh, it's Elvis Presley. Um, there was, I even on the charts, I think he had something like 24 top ones, uh, like number ones, um, and it has an asterisk next to it. And basically that is, for, and it says at the bottom of the website, um, that's because three of his songs got re-released back into the charts and made it number one again but even if you took away those three he'd still have the most so there's no dispute in it question four in only fools and horses what is triggers real name in the show and you get half a point for the first name and half a point for the second name it's colin ball so give yourselves a point if you've got both names or just half a point if you've got one of them or no points if you didn't get any of them question five Mark William Calloway is a professional wrestler, but what stage name does he go by? He is known as The Undertaker. I've put that one in there because when I was growing up watching wrestling, he was my favourite one. Question six. When was the NHS founded? Within two years. You can have two years either way. Um, it was 1948. I can't even remember what it was, so yeah, 1948. So anywhere from 1946 to 1950, you can have. Question seven. Everybody lies is the catchphrase of which American TV character in the show of the same name? Uh, that is Dr. Gregory House, uh, the TV show being called House. And he just gets referred to in the TV show as House as well. So just House, so you can have the point. You don't need the Dr. Gregory. Question eight. Who is the oldest? Uh, Fern Cotton, Danny Dyer, or Greg Ruther Rutherford? Sorry, uh, it is Danny Dyer. Question nine. Tim Berners-Lee was the inventor of what? He was the inventor of the World Wide Web. If you've got internet, that's fine. If you put computers, that's wrong. Um, internet, World Wide Web, some uh, variation of that is fine. And your last question for the round was, who is the main star of the Transporter movie trilogy? That is Jason Statham. So what did you get out of 10? Let me know down below in the comments or in the chat. I'll be very intrigued to know how you've all got on. Um, whilst you are counting up your scores, remember this next round is your interactive round for your prize. So um, get your phones out, get your laptops out, get your tablets or anything like that. I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes to be able to dial into it um, once the instructions come up on the screen uh, on the next slide. Um, you don't have to play interactively, but if you don't, you can't win the prize, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. 
Um, Hannah's coming out with a 5.5. Let me guess, you got Colin and not Ball. Uh, 5 out of 10. Ooh, a bit of a tricky round that one, Lenny. Uh, we got 7. Well done. Uh, we got Sarah and Martin coming in with 7s. Well done. Right, so uh, let me put the instructions up on the next side here. I know it's very wordy. I'll fly through it as fast as I can. So this round will be interactive for live members only. I've got to say all this because there's a prize, you see, for YouTube. Uh, you can play along at home with just paper and a pen if you wish. All answers are in multiple choice format. On the next slide, you will see a website name and a code. Go on the website via the internet on your preferred device and then enter the code shown on screen. Each question will give you 15 seconds to answer and only 15 seconds. This will also apply to anyone at home not playing live. So even if you're watching this pre-recorded, you're still only gonna get the 15 seconds and then the question's gone. Um, so the live, the quicker you answer, the more points you get. So no cheating, uh, no cheating. Make sure you pay attention to your interactive screens more than the stream because there may be a delay on the stream that you're watching me on, uh, and you might miss the question pop up on the device, meaning that you'll go slower at answering it. So just keep an eye on your screens when you're watching this, um, and then yeah, so. Just keep an eye on your screens, don't miss a question. And at the end of the 10 questions, whoever is top wins the round. You don't see the leaderboard all the way through it. You'll only see it once right at the end, and that's the winner. Uh, and that winner gets a prize, and it says, if applicable, which it is. And we have got the mug. I know some people have seen it already uh, on the Facebook page. It looks really cool. Um, so you've got the logo with a I wanna, the Smoggy Quizmaster uh, bonus round. And on the back it says the same, but it's got a QR code on it. So when you get it, you have to scan the QR code and see where it takes you. Um, no, kind of like yeah, everyone will probably be able to guess where it does take you to. Um, so yeah, you get to win that tonight. Um, so make sure you put your names in the internet uh, website correctly so that I know who has won. Um, let's have a look at the chat a minute. Yep, yeah, I didn't get. Colin, no Martin tonight. He's playing football. Oh, he's playing footy tonight, is he? Where's my invitation? Hey, uh, uh, Mia coming in with a nine. Uh, is that Mia, is it? Or is that Kerry or Michael or someone else? Is it Mia? I don't know. Um, right, yeah, so here is the slide. So get your... Right, what I'm going to have to do here. Bear with me a second, okay? <laughs> da, 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 da. I know it's gone black, just wait a second. And then I'm going to have to edit that. This is one thing I didn't test for. Sorry about this. You can start loading up slido.com. works until I can do this we may have to skip this bloody round two seconds guys let me go into there. right tell you what I'm gonna stick this with a slide on for a minute while I sort this out I'll be back in two minutes but go to slido.com <laughs>
so I'll just see how this looks on here when it comes up on my uh, screen on my phone yeah that'll do we'll go with that for now so what it is is that um, I've managed to get Slido up on um, PowerPoint but what I haven't actually tested is that because when I stream I have split screen type of thing so Slido needs the full screen so obviously it's um, quite it's all zoomed in and everything so yeah um, bit of a teething problem with that the actual quiz and everything won't be a teething problem hopefully this um, will be fine if I do that there as well will that help it a little bit I think it will uh, yeah about there that's fine right okay so yeah if you go into slido.com and then you get a code and it says join the code and you type in smoggy quiz uh, it's on the left hand side right there um, hashtag smoggy quiz you'll be able to join through that um, you should be able to join through that anyway if well, Hannah's joined anyway. Let's see if her uh, thingy. So it's just general knowledge on the quiz. But you'll be able to go into slido.com and then it says enter a code. You enter the code and it is smoggy quiz. And then you join after putting your name in. Yeah, my mum's joined, so everyone can join. That's fine. I'll give people a couple more minutes then. <clears throat> right, I'll have to figure out the slide or. Um, on the presentation for next week but yeah it's just general knowledge on um, the questions throughout this so faster you go the more points you get um, and obviously the more correct answers you get the better it is as well I think we're just waiting for someone else Yeah, we are waiting for someone. Yeah, there's Kerry in there now. Okay. So yeah, just make sure throughout this round you are um keeping your eye on your interact interactive screen rather than the stream because it will probably go a lot uh, slower on the stream. Uh, so what I'm going to quickly do as well is I'm going to turn my... Where are we? I know you can see all this. Uh, I'm just going to so you can't see me so I'm not blocking any of the screen. Uh, which will probably make it a lot better. I'll tell you what, I'll turn that off as well. So you'll be able to see the screen a lot better, and then I'll be able to turn it all back on. So, yes, uh, I think we've got everyone in, have we? Uh, let me just double check if we have got everyone. Right, okay, I think we've got everyone. Right, let's start then. So, here is 10 questions, general knowledge, um, answer as fast as you can, and let's go. So, who played the snowman Jack Frost in the movie of the same name in 1998? Was it Bruce Willis, Michael Keaton, Joseph Cross, or Mark Wahlberg? And if it has worked, hopefully it friggin' has. Yep, yeah, so we got five uh, answers in there. We've got a Bruce Willis for 20%, Michael Keaton at 80%. Right answer is Michael Keaton. So well done if you got Michael Keaton. Let's go through the next question. Straight away, keep an eye on your screens. So what date was the Smoggy Quizmaster YouTube channel's first video uploaded? Was it 13th of February 2021? 19th of February 2021? 23rd of February 2021? Oh, the 1st of March 2021. Oh, we got a lot of splits on this one. So everything uh, apart from the 1st of March got an answer on it. It was the 13th of February. So well done to anyone that got that one right. Uh, we'll go through the next question. Which of these was founded first? Was it Coca-Cola, Heinz, Macy's or John Lewis? Six seconds left. Uh, 
Uh, we've got Cola, Cola, Hines and John Lewis coming in. The correct answer was Macy's. No one got that one right. Oh, interesting. Spicing it up a little bit, eh? Right, let's go through the next question. If you have amaxophobia, what would you be afraid of? Is it flying in an aeroplane, driving a boat, driving a car, or riding a bike? And we've got driving a boat, driving a car, and riding a bike with answers. Complete split. Um, it is driving a car. So well done if you got driving a car. Uh, I don't know what question number we're up to. You guys might know more than me, but let's have a go at the next question. What year did Henry VIII die? Is it 1447, 1547, 1647, or 1747? Ooh, we got 50% on 1647. Um, correct answer is 1547, so well done if you got that one. Right, I uh, don't think there's many more questions to go. There might be three or four, but let's go for the next one. <clears throat> what year was the Mankini first founded? <laughs> is it 2000, 2002, 2004, 2006? Right, so we got a two. Well, we got an answer on everything, but every the majority think two thousand and six. It was two thousand and six. Uh, fun fact: I think it is when Borat came out. Um, was when it was founded. Oh, it was around about the same time. Um, right. Next question: What game would you drive a battle bus to tilted towers? Is it Call of Duty, PUBG, Fortnite, or Formula One racing? Answers coming in, 100% on Fortnite. It is Fortnite. Um, I'm really not sure how many questions we've got left, so we'll just go to the next one and see what happens. Yeah, which of these is not a real Star Wars movie? So is it um, The Last Skywalker, Revenge of the Sith, The Force Awakens, or A New Hope? Three seconds. And the answers are coming in. Um, so we got uh, the majority on the last Skywalker, um, which is the correct answer. Well done if you got the last Skywalker. I think this might have been the last question. Um, let's have a look. Oh no, one more. Go for it. What was Charles Dickens' first ever novel called? Is it The Pickwick Papers, Oliver Twist, Bleak House, or A Christmas Carol? I think I've just heard Hannah shout upstairs that there's two more, so. Okay, uh, the correct answer for this one with the majority is the Pickwick Papers, so well done if you went for that one. Right, next question. How many hearts does the Doctor have in Doctor Who? Is it zero, one, two, or three? And you've got eight seconds left. It wouldn't be a smoggy Quizmaster quiz without a Doctor Who question. Yeah. Right, so the majority of 50% says zero, 33% uh, with two, and 17% with three. Uh, the, the correct answer is two. He has two hearts. Um, so well done if you got two. Next slide. Um, so we got the scores coming through. Um, Kerry won with six out of ten, so well done, Kerry. Um, you have won the Smoggy Quizmaster mug so well done we'll get either that sent down to you or next time we're down we'll give it to you so well done and um, the hardest question coming out was that was which of these was founded first and no one said macy's um hannah coming in with a four out of ten oh you did a horrendous hannah <laughs> um well done to lucy and sarah and mia all coming out with five out of ten and everybody beating hannah <laughs> so well done everyone there Right, I'm just going to very quickly uh, sort this out. So,
There we go. We'll put that back to that. Put that on. So if I just check. Da, 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 da. Uh, my mum coming last. <laughs> well done, mum. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, you got my YouTube channel one wrong, right? Okay. But yeah, Kerry, you have won the mug, so this one is all yours. Uh, we'll get it sent down to you, or like I say, we'll bring it down next time we're down. Uh, right. I'm not on screen anymore, apparently. Let's do that. And. I should be on screen now. There you go. You can see me. Right. Uh, da, 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 let's take me out with that. Right. Yeah. I'll uh, tinker around with the full screen, screen size, and everything um, for next week because there is another prize next week. So yeah, I'll keep it secret. It's not going to be posted on the Facebook or anything. But um, yeah, I'll tinker with that just to make sure I've got something set out and everything ready for it if you like so let's get on then with your next round before we go into your break um i know this is taking quite long this uh, first half of the round so uh half the quiz uh, no you don't get a prize for coming last unfortunately right connections round for anyone that's new um basically you're going to get asked nine questions um and the tenth question says what links all nine answers together so if all the answers were maple oak blah blah types of trees simple You'll pick it up. So here's your connections round. Always let me know in the chat when you get it. Um, don't say what it is though. So here we go for your connections round for the 9th of April. Oh yeah, 9th of April. Question one. What do you call something that is written on the bottom of a legal document by an individual, usually agreeing to the terms above? So what do you call something that is written on the bottom of a legal document by an individual, usually agreeing to the terms above. Yeah, I knew Kerry was going to win as well, to be fair. <laughs> and uh, I, th I thought it was going to be either Hannah or Kerry or um, Martin and Sarah, to be honest. I didn't think you'd win, Mum, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> I'm sorry. Question two, ain't no other man, Hurt and Candyman are all 2006 releases for which music artist? So ain't no other man, Hurt and Candyman are all 2006 releases for which music artist? Remember, um, if there's more than one answer to a question, maybe write it down or something, come back to it later, because only one can be right to fit the link. Question three. What word means to give someone the assurance that one will do something or that a particular thing will happen? So what word means to give someone the assurance that one will do something or that a particular thing will happen? FYI, remember last week I said that this week is probably my best ever connection round and I think hardly anybody is going to get it. So please let me know in the comments if you think when you get it. Question four, what word best describes the sound of a cat? I've not got anybody yet saying that they think they've got the link. I am very happy about this so far. What word best describes the sound of a cat? Maybe I've beaten you all this round. Oh, that'll be, that'll be interesting if I beat you all.
What word best describes the sound of a cow? Right, I think that's a pretty an easier question. So let's go on to question five. What does a fire provide you? Uh, so let me start again. What does a fire provide you if you were to sit around it? Yeah, people coming through saying, yeah, I haven't got a clue. It's a bit of a tricky one today. But it'll all make sense in the end. So what does a fire provide you if you were to sit around it? Remember, if there's more than one answer, it can only be one, so it has to fit the link. Question six. What type of monkey was George, a sweet African who couldn't help running into trouble? What type of monkey was George, a sweet African who wouldn't, who couldn't help running into trouble? I'm not asking, hint, hint, for the species of the what kind of monkey he was. I'm just saying what type of monkey. That might have just made things even more challenging for you, to be honest. <laughs> Question seven. What is the name of Squirt, the turtle's father, in Finding Nemo? So what is the name of Squirt, the turtle's father, in Finding Nemo? Remember in Finding Nemo, there's two turtles, there's a dad and a son. The son is called Squirt. What's the dad called? I'm still not getting anyone coming through thinking that they've got it yet. Should have just made this the interactive round. Huh. Yeah, and because of the little delays that I had on that last round as well, it's it's going to be about a fifteen minute over time on the um, stream so we'll probably end up doing it for about an hour and 45 rather than an hour and 30. Hannah's coming and saying I know the answers but not the link. <laughs> it's the link that I want to beat you at not the answers so yeah. Question eight. What do you need to be able to fly in Peter Pan? Still no idea and I know the answers yeah. I'm liking this I'm liking this. So what do you need to be able to fly in Peter Pan? Oh, uh, we got Kerry coming in saying that she's got it. On question eight. The only one to come through saying that they got it. Okay, question nine. This is your last one before you have to figure out the link. So what is the first name of the female character that Lincoln Burroughs meets in prison break in season three, whom he falls in love with? So what is the first name of the female character that Lincoln Burroughs meets in Prison Break in season three? Whom he falls in love with. Uh, Hannah thinks that she's got it as well. Okay. Right, and your final question is obviously what connects all nine answers together. So what is the link between all nine answers? Bit of a tricky one. We've only had two coming in saying that they think they got it. Right, answers. Only two people. Let's see if they're right as well then. So everyone thinks that they got their answers, um, but not the link. So I'll give you an extra 10 seconds, 15 seconds if you just wanna go back to any questions, feel free. And then after this round, we'll have a short break and then we'll have your final three rounds. I'll try and go through them as quick as I can um, to get the stream time down to about an hour and a half again. 
but that might be a bit tricky. <laughs> Right, let's get into your answers. So, question one. What do you call something that is written on the bottom of a legal document by an individual, usually agreeing to the terms above? Um, that is a signature. And as you can see next to it, it says Sean Mendes. Question two. Ain't no other man, Hurt and Candyman are all 2006 releases for which music artist, that is Christine Aguilera, I mean, I'm not 100%, but 99%. Okay, let's see. Question three. What word means to give someone the assurance that one will do something or that a particular thing will happen? Um, that is promise. And as you can see next to that, it says Jennifer Lopez. Question four. What word best describes the sound of a cat? Um, that is meow. And as you can see, it says Katy Perry. Question five. What does a fire provide you if you were to sit around it? Uh, the answer to that one is heat. And as you can see, it says Beyonce. I've definitely got it. <laughs> right. Question six. What type of monkey was George, a sweet African who couldn't help running into trouble? It was Curious, Britney Spears. Question seven, what is the name of Squirt, the turtle's father in Finding Nemo? That is Crush and it's Rihanna. Does anyone know the connection yet? I'm getting people messaging me saying, is it music? These don't still make sense. Question eight. What do you need to be able to fly in Peter Pan? That is fairy dust and it says Paris Hilton. Question nine. The answer before the link. What is the first name of the female character that Lincoln Boroughs meets in Prison Break in season three? Whom he we it's meant to be he falls in love with, sorry. It's Sophia, and uh, that's Sophia Vergara. And last but not least, what connects all nine answers together? Celebrity perfumes. It's celebrity perfumes. So congratulations if you've got celebrity perfumes. Um, I know that was a lot of people saying songs and stuff like that. Um, we got a 10 out of 10. Well done, Kerry. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Um, getting people saying, ah, I knew it was perfumes, I should have put perfumes. Um, yeah, it was all perfumes. Obviously, question two would be Christina Aguilera, and she brought out a perfume called Christina Aguilera. Um, yeah, I had to put the names of the people next to them because I couldn't remember, I wouldn't be able to remember on the night whose was whose. Right, yeah, so concluding your connections round for this evening. Well done to Kerry for getting 10 out of 10. She's on a roll tonight, isn't she? Um, and thank you so much for joining me for round one. And stick with us for a seven minute break, I think it is. I still can't remember how long it says. A um, little break, and we'll come back and we'll do the last three rounds. There's a little riddle on screen for you as well to do if you wish to do it. See you in a bit. <laughs>
promise you this second half will be much more organised than the last half. Right, <laughs> as you can see, what begins with tea ends with tea and has tea in it. It is teapot, yes. Uh, has a tea at the start, has a tea at the uh, the end, and has tea in the middle, of course. Um, I know that some people will maybe getting confused, and um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Right, so as you can see on screen, um, you've got a science and nature round. We haven't done one of these for quite a few weeks now, so we're going to put one in today. Because um, I think I've done three weeks in a row worth of geography. Um, so, yeah, you've got it ages ago. Well done. <laughs> well done, man. There's no prize for the tiebreaker, uh, for the tiebreaker, for the riddle, unfortunately. Right, science and nature. Should have named and shamed. Yeah, Kerry, getting confused. Beats all the beats the quiz. She gets sixty out of sixty, but she puts trust. Right, <laughs> science and nature. Here we go. Question one: What is the name for a baby shark? So, what is the name for a baby shark? And uh, I don't mean like calling it Boris or something. I mean like, what's the name given for a shark, baby shark? And all I can hear is Hannah going, baby shark, do 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 do, do baby shark, do 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 do. do. Yeah, I can hear you, Hannah. It's a good job the stream doesn't pick you up, doesn't it? Question two. What part of the human body is the mandible? What part of the human body is the mandible? Yeah. And Hannah, I'm expecting 100% on the science part of this, not so much the nature, but yeah. It's funny as well because I'll have a copyright claim on this uh, video now from just literally doing that tune. It's mad. It picks you up from just humming. Question three. At what speed in miles per second within 5,000 does light travel? I know there's a bit of a thingy on that. So at what speed in miles per second and within 5,000 does light travel? So a bit of a guessy one. Mm. Unless you know it. Question four. Go straight into it. What is the largest moon of Saturn called? What is the largest moon of Saturn called? Question five, roughly what percentage of DNA do humans and chimpanzees share? You need it bang on. And Kerry thinks that she's getting all this right. She must be Googling it. Who thinks that Kerry's Googling the answers, eh? Roughly what percentage of DNA do humans and chimpanzees share? I think I said that question completely wrong. I didn't even realise. Roughly what percentage of DNA do humans and chimpanzees share? Yeah, I'm getting my words muddled up. Let's go to the next question. Question six. True or false? The sun is a star. True or false? The sun is a star. Not a chance in this house. We all compete. Yeah, stick a tenner on it so you can get, so you can get the most. Question seven: How many legs does a lobster have? How many legs does a lobster have? Uh, 
Question eight. How many eyes do most spiders have? Uh, so most species of spiders have how many number of, number of eyes? Uh, the majority of the species and breeds of them um, do have a set amount of eyes. Apparently. I don't know how people have counted all of the spiders' eyes. But Question nine. How many bones are there in the human foot? Is it A22, B24, C26, or D28? So how many bones are there in the human foot? Is it A22, B24, C26, or D28? I'm not gonna lie, I'm guessing most of these. Well, you better know this human foot one. Human biology, um, bloody, oh, I can't remember the bloody word. You're getting degree, that's it. <laughs> degree in human biology. Question 10, your final question for this round. How many wings does a mosquito have? My mum don't like this round. Yeah, I didn't think you would. You might like the next one. I can't even remember what the next one is, to be fair, but you might like the next one. How many wings does a mosquito have? And we're going to your answers. Right, so answer swap papers if you need to swap papers or just mark them yourself if you wish. Do, 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 do. Give me a couple of seconds. Right, let's go straight into your answers then. So, question one What is the name for a baby shark? It is Pup. <laughs> so, if you've got Pup, you get Correct answer. Question two. What part of the human body is the mandible? It is the lower jawbone. Lower jawbone. Does puppy count? Yes. You can have puppy. So lower jawbone for question two. Question three. At what speed in miles per second Within 5,000 does light travel? Um, that is 186,000 per second. So if you've got anywhere between 181,000 and 108, no, yeah, 181,000 to 191,000, you can have a point. My math was going terrible then. I thought it was, yeah. Question four, what is the largest moon of Saturn called? That is Titan. Mia knew that one. Well done, Mia. Question five. Roughly what percentage of DNA do humans and chimpanzees share? You need it bang on. 98%. Question six. True or false, the sun is a star. It is true. Question seven. How many legs does a lobster have? It is ten. Question eight. How many eyes do most spiders have? It's eight. Uh, so same amount of legs as eyes. Question nine. How many bones are there in the human foot? Hannah, I expect you to know this one, so I'll be very disappointed if you get it wrong. It is 26. And finally, how many wings does a mosquito have? It is two. So what do you get out with 10? Let me know down in the comments uh, or in the chat. Um, yes, as you can see, around five is food and drink. Um, we got I put 97, I put 99. <laughs> I don't even remember what fucking question that's for. Oh, spiders, right. <laughs> <clears throat> right, so yeah. Count up out of 10, let me know down below what you got. 
Six, eight, yeah. Sorry, you're saying six with a laughing face, but I bet you're any money someone's got lower than that. Uh, but 99% for DNA, and I'm sure it's 99. Ha ha, but I'll dock a point. Mm, it's 98. I think a banana shares like 99% of DNA or something, doesn't it? I might be very stupid that. I, I'm sure a banana shares like, or is it like so much DNA for a human or something? Can someone Google that for me, please? I'm actually not sure now, and I'm thinking I'm just being stupid. I'm sure a banana does, isn't it? Yeah, I'll have a, no, I can't Google it because I'm on the chat. Someone Google it for me quickly. Let me know. Um, while we're doing that, we'll, uh, yeah, so round five is your food and drink, then you'll have your picture round, and then, like I said earlier on, you like a little poll. Um, it's back on the Slido, um, however, you don't need to see anything on screen or anything like that. It's basically just to pull it in for me. Um, so you might see something on screen, but it will look naff. Um, you'll only see like a quarter of the screen like it was all zoomed in then. So unfortunately, until I can fix that until next week. Um, but yeah, it's um, just a little poll, three questions, if you don't mind. Um, you don't have to t uh, participate, but if you don't mind, then that'd be brilliant. Uh, but I explain everything after the picture round for you. Well, after the tiebreaker, that's when we'll do it. Um, we got Kerry coming up eight out of 10, never heard anyone call a shark a puppy. Yeah, me ne neither, but Kerry, if I didn't say that she could have puppy rather than pup, um, I wouldn't hear the end of it for the rest of the night, so she can have puppy. Right, let's get on with your round five then. Here we go, question one. If everyone's ready. I didn't even check if anyone's ready, but yeah, you're all ready. Come on, let's go. Ladyfinger is a variety of which fruit? So ladyfinger is a variety of which fruit? Yeah, don't we all know it? Question two. What fruit is sweeter than any I've seen in the hymn song, Cauliflower's Fluffy? What fruit is sweeter than any I've seen in the hymn song, Cauliflower's Fluffy? Ah, oh, Easter time back in year four, watching the guy who used to come in to play the piano in the uh, hall when we used to have assembly and it was around Easter and we used to sing all these songs and it was that song is like, mm, yeah, I oh, love that song. I could probably sing every single word. Now. I can hear Hannah singing it downstairs now as I speak as well. All right, question three. How many calories are in a McDonald's Big Mac burger in the UK to the closest 10? Oh yeah, it is harvest, not bloody Easter. Sorry, <laughs> keep me right, Kerry, keep me right. Uh, how many calories are in the McDonald's Big Mac burger in the UK to the closest 10? Funny because apparently quizmasters are always right. Uh, this one isn't. Question four. Which of these is a fruit? A broccoli, B cucumber, C beetroot, or D none of them? Which of these is a fruit? Is it broccoli, cucumber, beetroot, or none of them? Question five. Peach, schnapps, orange juice, and cranberry juice are three of four ingredients in a sex on the beach. What is the alcohol that makes up the fourth ingredient? Humans share 50% of DNA with a banana, I think, by the looks of Google. Yeah, I thought we did. I thought we shared something anyway. I didn't realise it was 50%, but I thought it was a lot higher, but yeah. I mean, if it was a lot higher, it would just be cannibalism, wouldn't it, really? Closest to it. Question six. I'm talking to myself, I'm just getting myself into trouble with things I'm saying here. Williams and Conference are kinds of which type of fruit? 
So Williams and Conference are kinds of which type of fruit? A lot of these are just fruit related, aren't they? Question seven. What sauce is produced at Avery Island in Louisiana? So what sauce is produced at Avery Island in Louisiana? Question eight. In which country did Scampi originate? So in which country did Scampi originate? I love Scampi. <clears throat> Question nine. What are petite foie? If I've pronounced that right. What are petite fur foie? We'll go, yeah, we'll go for. <laughs> you had it last night. What, this question or the previous question? Like, what, petite foie or previous question? Because I don't know which one you're on about. I didn't see the when you sent it. And question 10. In which country did ketchup originate? Oh, you're on about scampi. I don't know what you're on about, man. In which country did ketchup originate? Scampi, right, okay, we got that thing. I, yeah, okay. I didn't see when you sent it, so I didn't know if you, what you were on about. You could have been on about ketchup for all I knew. All right, so that'll complete your food and drink round. Obviously, you've got your picture round next, uh, but we'll get into your answers. So I'll give you about 10 seconds if you want to go back to anything or swap papers, do anything you need to do. And let's get into your answers. So question one, ladyfinger is a variety of which fruit? Uh, it is banana. So well done if you got banana. Not that easy, this one for me. Oh, Kerry struggled on that round so people can stop <laughs> come on you can start getting your points back up catch up to her question two what fruit is sweeter than any i've seen in the hymn song cauliflowers fluffy well if you don't know the song it goes cauliflowers fluffy cabbages green strawberries sweeter than any i've seen rhubarb purple and onions white all grow steadily day and night the apples are ripe. It is strawberries. I'm not going to sing the entire song. I could go on all night. Strawberries. Question three. How many calories are in a McDonald's Big Mac? <laughs> How many calories are in a McDonald's Big Mac burger in the UK? To the closest ten. It is five hundred and ten. So five hundred and eight is the correct answer. But yeah, five hundred and ten is what I'm looking for. Question four, which of these is a fruit? Is it broccoli, cucumber, beetroot, or none of them? It is cucumber. Cucumber is a fruit. You put 3,000. You think that there's 3,000 calories in a McDonald's Big Mac. Wow, that's a lot of calories. Question five, peach, schnapps, orange juice, and cranberry juice are three of four ingredients in a sex on a beach. What is the alcohol that makes up the fourth ingredient? It is vodka. Isn't like 3,000 calories like twice the amount of calories recommended per day or something for like a man? <laughs> uh, question six, Williams and Conference are kinds of which type of fruit? It's pears. I thought it was apples. Oh my God, I'm losing it tonight, I really am. Question seven, what sauce is produced at Avery Island in Louisiana? It is Tabasco. You thought Big Mac would be way more than 500. It was, it was 508. <laughs> Question eight. In which country does Scampi originate? It is Italy.
Question nine, what are petite foie? I think it's foie anyway. Well, at least I won't feel that guilty when I have one now. Well, exactly. Now you can have, what, six of them. <laughs> it is small iced cakes and sweets. That's what it's actually described as. Uh, if you've got any kind of variation of that, it's fine. And question 10, in which country did ketchup originate? It is China. So what do you get out of 10? Let me know down below. As always, you'll have your picture around next and you'll have your tiebreaker. And then like I said earlier on that, you'll have a little bit of a poll if you want to take part. Um, so yeah, let me know in the chat what you got out of 10 or let me know in the comments if you're doing this pre-recorded. I don't know why, but I always feel like bottled beer goes down a lot easier than a can. We got six. Ooh, slacking a little bit there, aren't we? Six out of ten. Wow. Um, while she do that, I'm just gonna. Ooh, Hannah, three out of ten. E by gum. I'm trying to uh, open a bottle here, and it's not working very well. Oh, just look. There we go. All sorted. It was hard. Oh, Sarah coming out with an 8 out of 10. Should have been more uh, alcohol and chocolate based questions. Should have had more alcohol and chocolate based questions. 8 out of 10, well done you. I think you've won that round to be fair. Um, I second that more alcohol and shot. I tell you what, right? I'll make sure. Um, I've already written up next week's quiz, so it won't be then, and the week after, um, it won't be then. Possibly the week after that, I'll just coming up. I'll make a round completely for just alcohol and chocolate. Okay. Uh, I'll. Yeah, I'll make sure I make a note of that soon. Um, yeah. Right. Last round. Picture round, as always, you're gonna have your who is this, what country, what flag, your movie scene, your your chocolate, your car brand, everything, yeah. So your normal setup, here we go. Who is this? Who is this for question one on your picture round this evening? Hey, ma'am, you're not putting what you got out of the 10 on that last round as well. Oh, yeah. Question two. What country is associated with this flag? Question three, name the children's TV character. Z. Oh, bloody paper on the top of it. That's stupid. Question four, name the football club. To name the football club. Um, this evening it is an English based team. I'll always tell you that if it's in, if it is an English based team or if it is a foreign team. I'll tell you that. So this evening it is English. Question five, name the brand slash company. Ooh, the stream just ticked over an hour and a half. So we won't be too far over. We'll be about an hour and 40, an hour and 45, in like I predicted. Question six, 
Who is this celebrity as a child? Little bit of an inside information for you guys as well. Hannah is writing up another quiz for you in the next week or two. So within the next four weeks, there might be a Hannah quiz coming up, just to let you know. Question seven, name the sweet. So name the sweet for question seven. It, to be honest. Question eight. Name the car logo. Two more questions left. Name the country from the outline. And your final question for this evening. Uh, like I say, if, if you're new here, hit subscribe, hit the little bell, get notified when we upload or go live. If you're here already, share it with your friends and family. Um, you'll do the channel great justice if you do. Um, we want to get this um, 19 up. We need to get that 19 into the 20s. So come on, get sharing, get sharing, and subscribe. That'd be brilliant. Thank you very much. Question 10. Name the movie from this scene. So name the movie from this scene. And then once you've answered that, we'll go into your answers. Yep, let's go into them now. So that's your round complete. Uh, at the end of the round, let me know what you get out of 10 in the chat. That'll be brilliant. So let's go straight into it. Won't waste any more time. Um, I don't know, keep you too long. Um, so here we go. Who is this? Uh, rest in peace, but Alan Rickman, I believe he's dead anyway. I think, yeah, he's dead, isn't he? Yeah, shame. He's a very good actor. He was a very, very good actor. Um, Professor Snape in Harry Potter. Question two, what country is associated with this flag? It is Brazil. Question three, name the children's TV character. Bit of an obvious one, bananas in pajamas. So we go straight into question four, name the football club. Maybe a bit more of a difficult question for some people, but yes, it's MK Dons. I think that was their new logo that they got. Oh, he was in Die Hard as well, wasn't he? He was the, uh, he was the bad guy in Die Hard 1, wasn't he? Yeah, who fell off the building. Question five, name the brand slash company. It's Whiskers, cat food. Question six, who is this celebrity as a child? It'd be interesting to see what everyone put for this, but it is Elton John. Maybe the piano gave it away a little bit. And question seven, name the sweet. It's nougat. I think that's how you pronounce it. Nougat, nougat, nougat. I don't even know how you pronounce it. Hey. Michael Bublé, wow, Michael Bublé. Question eight, name the car logo, Citroen. Bit of an easier one. Straight into question nine, name the country from the outline, that is Australia. You can always tell Australia from this little island that hangs off the bottom of it. 
And your final question for this evening, like I said already, hit subscribe if you're new here, hit the little bell, get notified when we go upload on the live. It is face off. So well done. What'd you get out of 10? Let me know in the chat. What'd you get out of 60? Uh, count up your score from the round two interactive as well. What did you get out of 10 on that? Add it up and let me know what you got out of 60. Kerry smashed it tonight, hasn't she? Because she's got another 10 out of 10 here. So yeah, um, let me know what you got out of 60 in total. Uh, that'd be brilliant. We have got your tiebreaker up next and the poll as well. Um, if you want to participate, I don't mind if you don't want to or anything, um, but it will help the channel out if you can. Um, Sarah coming in with the nine. Well done. Yeah, a couple of rounds there tonight as well, Sarah, isn't it? That you did quite well at. Um, what did you, which one did you get wrong, Sarah? Uh, and my mum as well. Nine out of ten. What did you get wrong, mum? I bet my mum got the Australia one wrong, didn't you? Is that the one that you got wrong? I think it was either the Australia or Face Off. So, as you're all counting up your uh, MK Dons, uh, do I include round two? Yeah, include round two as well. Put it out of 60 in total. So if you include round two, it will be out of 60. If you don't include round two, then it's out of 50. But yeah, include round two. Uh, number four. Which one was number four? Uh, I don't even remember. Um, but yeah, uh, forty-eight out of sixty. We got thirty-six out of sixty. Worst, <laughs> your worst quiz, yeah. Uh, forty-eight, forty-three. So Hannah, you've came last basically, unless my mum's got less than uh, thirty-six. Oh, you got MK Dondrum. Oh yes, of course. What do you get? What do you get with sixty, man? Let's see if Hannah lost altogether. Come on, I'm waiting. Come on, did you get more than thirty-six? Tell you what, while we're waiting, and whilst I'm waiting for it, let's put your tiebreaker up. So your tiebreaker for the evening, just play along if you just want to play along for fun. But the closest to the answer gets the extra point. Right, what is the total number of words in all seven Harry Potter books combined? Biggie tonight. What is the total number of words in all seven Harry Potter books combined? It's a big, big one. Closest to it gets the point, gets the pride, gets whatever you want. I'll give you your answer in five seconds. Two, one. One million and eighty four thousand one hundred and seventy words. Closest to the one million eighty four thousand one hundred and seventy words gets the point for an extra well an extra point or uh <laughs> Bride, whatever you want, so yeah. Right, thank you so much for playing along tonight. I have got a little poll if you can join, that'd be brilliant. Um, it's back on slide or like I say, um, I think it's cut off a little bit on the screen. Wait, is it? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, it's fine, yeah, you can be able to make that out. It's cut out a little bit, but yeah. Basically, says if you could participate in a short three question poll about the quizzes on the channel for a bit of research, that'd be fantastic. And I can't do this without you guys, so thank you. Well, like I say, it means a lot that you all come every Friday. You know, there's um, I, I've I've been doing this quiz stuff since what is it the beginning of like lockdown two? Start going around mum and dad's house or something uh, and doing quizzes and stuff just on Friday night for an hour. So yeah, to do it with everyone and all friends and family, it means a lot. So thank you so much for coming. Um, if you can, it's on slide or it looks stupid on the screen. I know. I'm sorry. Um, but if you go on to slido.com again um, and use smoggy quiz again um, it should put you straight through to um, the poll and just start voting away um, You can change your answers and stuff like that, so yeah. 
Right, let me just dingy this down here. I just want to. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it, just so that I can see. Right. <laughs> I nearly made a big boo boo. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's perfect for me. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave it on for a couple more seconds before I skip to the next question. I'll get all this sorted out for next week as well with the um, slide or um, how much of a do you like the slide or interaction presence. If you do like them, that's brilliant. Um, be honest. Honestly, if you don't like it and you think that it's just too much hassle every week, stick it in there that's completely fine um we can't see your names or anything like that. it's all anonymous so you know if you don't like it um say that you don't but yeah um we'll i'm gonna try one more week see if we can get it working properly um if not we might scrap it or we might not i don't know but yeah i knocked the remote and the tv went off oh you wally Right, okay, we'll skip to the next round. Uh, we got 83% on five, 17% on four. Thank you very much for that. Right, let's go to the next question then. Uh, yeah, so how much out of five do you enjoy the themed expert quizzes we upload Tuesday nights at 6 p.m.? So if you don't know, we do expert quizzes um, at 6 p.m. on Tuesdays. Um, I mean, if you be honest, do you play them? If you do play them, let me know if you've got any um, requests of what kind of uh, themes or anything like that. Then let me know them. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it, to be fair. Fives and threes. Yeah, we'll take that, won't we? Six uh, votes, that's brilliant. Uh, next question, last question. And the big one, really. How much out of five would you recommend the Smoggy Quizmaster channel and live stream quizzes to people? Six with one person saying one. Um, thank you so much for everyone uh, for playing tonight. Um, this will probably knock your poll off. It might even, yeah, so that'll probably knock your poll off. But thank you so much for playing tonight. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure this evening, even with all of the hiccups. Thanks for sticking with us. Um, I'll try and make um, it better for next week and you know, we'll just see what we can do next week. We'll do another interactive round, and yeah, we'll, we've got another prize next week. I'll give you a little hint. No, I won't actually, I won't. I'll just tell you next week. Yeah, you'll have to come and see what it is. Right, so yeah, join me next week for the next quiz. So yeah, bye for now. Peace. <laughs>